So in this unit, we're going to look at ASP.NET uh, data binding and data controls in more detail and some of the more automated systems that ASP.NET uh, provides. Uh, rather than in chat last unit, we, we did most of the things manually uh, by hand or by code. Um, so if I open up the chapter uh, 14, I mean chapter 15 sample problems for this unit, um, I do find uh, most of them don't work because they use a data source or a database called the Northwinds database, which is uh, another uh, common Microsoft test database along with the pub pubs or a publication database. So again, if I, I load this page, um, I'll see uh, things like the data source uh, will make use of the, the connection string will refer to the, the Northwinds database um, here. And, and so I need to create that. And again, if I run this, uh, I'll get errors um, saying that it can't connect to the database. So cannot open database Northwinds. So we'll create, the, I'll walk you through a process and give you a script to create a basic Northwinds database. Um, so first we're gonna go into our uh, SQL Server Object Explorer. So view SQL Server Explorer. Um, You'll probably only have one instance of the SQL Server installed here. Uh, so I, I have two because of the setup I have, so as I mentioned before. So I'm just going to go into one of mine, uh, in this course my v11.0 area. I've got my database area and I've got some sample databases here. I've got a pubs database and a sample ones. I don't have Northwinds here, so I'm going to create that. Um, so I'm just going to click in one of the uh, tables I have right now and I'm going to create a new query. So here's our new query. Now I'm going to select, copy the query, and again we'll post this, this SQL online. It's also, I'll also have it in this project. So you should be able to see them over to the, the right hand side uh, and we want the install Northwinds SQL. So again, I'm going to paste that uh, into my SQL statement, um, and then I'm going to run this command. So once that script runs, I might get a couple uh, errors, but hopefully not many here. I should see a bunch of insert statements, and the database should be created. If I go over here to the server, I can refresh my databases, go look under uh, our databases, and I should see the Northwinds database now here. I should look under tables, and I should be able to see all the different tables. For example, the product table, if I right-click on that, and choose view data, I should see a bunch of products uh, here in this sample database. Uh, same with customers, I should see uh, a small set of customers here. Okay, so that's the process. Now once I can close this query, I don't have to save it because I've already run it now. So that's the process of creating the Northwinds table. Once you have that created, uh, your program, you should be able to run these samples. So a good one to check that should work is the record editor data source. Not the record editor, but the record editor data source. It has the data source already configured in it. Um, so that should be set up. I should be able to just uh, hit run here, bring up the web page, and it should load correctly. Now I know the data source uh, is loading correctly. So again, I should see my products up here. Uh, and then when I select those, uh, the different product information should be displayed uh, down here. Uh, so that all should work. I should see the, the basic layout 